Hey, what's up you guys? I want to thank you for tuning into another video. It's been a while since I've made a video, but I hope to keep this going. So it is February 2019 and I'm actually really excited for the new year. I have a couple projects lined up for me um, that I'm excited about. I have a solo show, my first gallery solo show. And I also had this surfboard project, which hopefully can lead to some new things. So this has been really encouraging for me uh, because I, I moved from Mississippi to San Diego, California to try to push myself as an artist and, and you know, just kind of get myself in the, in the direction, whatever direction that may have been uh, that I felt like I needed to be in. And I moved here September of last year, 2018. And when I got here, however, I don't know like what happened. I just, I was so completely lost. I felt so lost and felt like I didn't know if this was the right direction that I should be going in. Um, if this is what I should be doing, just kind of really doubting myself as an artist and as a person the things that unfortunately I'm too used to doing um, but thankfully you know these opportunities which have come you know at the beginning of this year uh, a, a small show led to me getting my gallery show you know so these opportunities have made me feel um, I don't want to say validated because I shouldn't you know that shouldn't make me feel validated but I don't know it, it just it, got, it has me a lot more excited about the possibilities and it makes me want to to try a lot harder um, at doing this and, and trying to be successful as an artist out here you know I hate that it took that long for me to, to feel that way but I don't know, you know, life. Um, so hopefully I can keep going forward with positive vibes and pushing myself and, you know, being the creative individual that I want to be because, you know, I don't know why I'm doubting myself as if there's any other thing that I actually want to do in life. Um, but yeah, that was just a little update. I don't want to talk too long about that. Uh, this piece is actually something that I did last year and I was really excited about it uh, in the process of doing it all. And then when I get to the end of it, which happens with a lot of the artwork that I do, and I don't know if it's just me, well, I'm sure it's not just me, but you know, tons of other artists do the same thing. It's just, gosh, I did not really like it at the end. And I, I hate it when I do that because I know that this thing took me like 13 hours from start to finish from rough sketch to all the way to finish colors, which is something that, you know, I have a difficult time doing in the first place. Normally I get to, to the line part, to the inking stage, and then that's just it. Um, but I followed this through and I, I, you know, I wasn't feeling it at the end of it. Um, I mean, I appreciate it more now looking back at it. I think that it was something unique for me. It was different for sure. Um, I mean, I still love the concept of it and I actually love the line art more than I do the whole colored version, but I don't know. That's a whole nother thing in and of itself. I just, I, I really like black and white art. Maybe that's what it is. I do like color art too. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But, um, I'm trying to get myself out of that space where I underappreciate the finished work that I do because that just makes me, you know, not excited to to finish the next project. And I think that's what has been, you know, happening to me for the past few years, just kind of, I get really excited about this idea that I have and I go through with executing it and then I'm done with the idea and I, you know, I, I don't feel like it came out the way that I wanted it to. And that's not what art should be about. It shouldn't be about necessarily um, the finished products. It shouldn't be about um, having a perfect image at the end. And that's something that I'm really gonna have to start being aware of when I'm making things because I'm always excited about the next idea, but I'm never as excited 
when it comes to the finished project. Uh, and that's just unfortunate. So I'm gonna have to start, you know, appreciating it for what it is, you know, and, and realizing that I'll constantly grow because this right here, this piece is a huge leap from the work that I did two years before. And, and I'm aware of that, it's just like, you know, as artists, you're like, oh, this, is, this isn't quite good enough. This isn't good enough just yet. Um, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. There's some artists who are full of themselves, and I think every piece that they do is amazing. Uh, I don't necessarily wish that I was that, but you know, I wish that I could have a little piece of that confidence, I guess. Um, maybe not. I don't know. But actually, I actually like the image now looking back at it. And I'm going to start posting a lot of the work that I had done previously because I have. I have a couple other different videos that I filmed um, last year with the intention of putting it here on YouTube and I you know like I said I just didn't like the end result and looking back at it now I'm like okay you know this actually isn't that bad you know you can see the growth from even when I put the first few YouTube videos up so yeah, just look forward to, to more videos in the future. It's still something that I'm working on. Just kind of being consistent is my biggest goal probably this year. Being consistent and pushing myself regardless of how I feel about the work that I'm doing um, in that moment. And, you know, actually last year I had, I stopped drawing for a very long period of time, probably the entire few months after I had just moved in September. So I, and I think I started back um, early, De no, I don't want to say December, but maybe in January. That's when I started back, fresh start, new year. Really excited, just keeping it loose, just drawing, sketching, and I'll probably actually post a couple just sketches, you know, just to show you my project. Ugh process of me just sketching out artwork without having to feel like I need to produce a finished piece of work and, and that's another issue with me you know just feeling like I need to produce a finished piece of work which technically I do because I have a lot of shit that I don't finish and that's you know it could be something that I could put in in a portfolio and I don't finish like I said because I don't like it so I don't know I got this whole back and forth thing. I, I got a lot of issues, but I'm going to keep it moving. I don't want to, you know, talk too long. You can see the entire process of this video from start to finish, um, from thumbnail sketch, the one I selected, I did about three to, you know, sketching over it multiple times because I wanted to make sure it looked really good. And so this thing took a long while and, you know, I didn't even like it in the end. So that's just crazy. But um, I do really like the ink lines. I mean, I love the, the line art of it. Um, coloring I could be better at because I'm, that's something I generally avoid. So it's just going to be something that I have to practice on. But I'm looking forward to creating new art this year um, and just pushing myself beyond what I've always, you know, what I've thought that I could do. Uh, so I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I talked way longer than I thought I would, but you know, thoughts are thoughts. I generally like hearing thoughts from artists uh, in about their process and everything like that. Although I didn't really talk about my process. Well, you can see my process. You can see it. You know, it's just sketching over um, rough sketches uh, multiple times and then inking it and then figuring out how to color this because that's exactly what the hell I'm doing. Everything is just, I'm just figuring it all out as I go along for the most part. And, and, and that's what art is. So, you know, I'm just trying to enjoy the process and hopefully enjoy the, the final image, but mostly enjoy the fact that I'm creating. So thank you guys for watching the video. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you stick around for future videos. Um, definitely, if you like this video, make sure you like, subscribe, um, and stay tuned.